Hi, I'm George Pearson, and this is my review of Photo Lemur 3, which is from Skylum. Now, this is a very interesting and very fast photo enhancement utility. It can be run standalone, or it can also be run as a plugin with Photoshop or Adobe's Lightroom program. Now, if you like this video, make sure you click that like button, and always, of course, share with your friends. Just click on that share button down below. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already done so, so you don't miss any videos in the future. And to learn a lot more about the programs that I teach, take a look at my complete training courses. You'll find a link right down there in the description. Okay, let's get to it. Now before we start the review here, just a real fast disclaimer, I do have an ad for a photo lemur on my website, georgepearson.com, but I only do that for programs that I actually use personally and that I like, and I'm willing to go ahead and endorse because I believe that they are good quality programs. This is one of those programs that I find quite useful. Now a quick look around here. First off, it comes in, as you can see here, at a smaller size than your full screen. The background there, that's my desktop and it comes in here at a smaller size. You can actually move it around. There it is. Right there comes in at a smaller size than that. You can't maximize that larger than this, but you can minimize right here. But it shows you your whole picture filling up the whole field of view here, so it really isn't a problem. This little before and after up here, just grab this line. You can quickly see what it has done for its improvement. There's the before and there's the after. It's very, very fast at doing this. We'll see just how fast it is in just a minute. Open more over here is when you have your settings where you want them on your image, you can open more images using those same settings and then export all those at the same time, kind of like batch processing. Export down below here, bottom right hand corner. This is the save button. We'll take a look at that in just a little bit. Where it says photo lemur three, click on that and this gives you your menu in here, your standard menu. You can open more images. Again, these all come at the same setting we had there. You can start over from scratch. You can add a new style and show styles folders. Now this is brand new, which has just been added in, but there's nothing in here yet to add in. So these are placeholders, which will be filled up very soon with additional content from Photo Lemur. The help, of course, right here, Photo Lemur 3, there's your check for updates. I believe there's a new update coming up pretty soon, maybe about mid-November, a little partial update here for Photo Lemur. Setting adjustments, we have just three settings, basic settings in here. Automatic lens correction, face enhancement, and eye enlargement. The face enhancement looks for a face on your image and then does a bit more work and brightens up that face. And then eye enlargement comes in and actually makes them just a hair larger, but they look much, much better. They can have the program running with or without sounds. I have mine without sounds, of course, for this video. And you have some language options. Lots of different language options available. They're just off the screen over there on the right hand side, just off the program as you can see right down in here. Install as a plugin. This allows you to install this program as a plugin. Let's go ahead and click on this one and you can install it in Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Photoshop Lightroom. Just click on install. It will then install as a plugin into those two programs. Real nice little trick in there. And right down here, of course, is the exit. Same thing as clicking on the little X right there. Down here, bottom left-hand corner, this is new. Click on that little style button down there, and it comes with some pre-included styles. There is an Apollo style, a fall style, noble, spirited, a black and white look, mono look, and evolve. Now, I find on these styles, personally for me, I'm not really happy with these things. They, they tend to lower the contrast a little bit on the image. If it's a real contrast image, that may help. This obviously gives you kind of a fall color. Here's kind of cool colors. The black and white conversion works very well. Let me show you that very quickly. Just click on this. You also see how fast this program works. So click on that. It goes through. It figures out the colors. And there's our black and white conversion that fast. Let's go ahead. We'll go back to the normal view here, normal style. Click on that one. Again, this is how fast this program works. to figure it out. It goes through, looks at the picture, and then comes in and does its enhancement, which as you can see here, does a great job of enhancing this kind of a low contrast image. Now, as more styles are available, you'll be able to find them over here as well. Same as using that option up here underneath the Photo Lemur 3 
menu. Just click on that for more styles. Again, right now there aren't any new styles or additional styles, just what comes initially included. Now on the right hand side over here, the new option is this one. Click on that little paintbrush. Now before you could do this, you could adjust how much improvement was being placed by using the slider control. I have mine clear to the top. The two new options over here is the face enhancement and the eye enlargement right here. Let me just turn that one off first. So click on that. It will refigure the whole image. There it is without that. And let's do it again here with the face enhancement off. And there we go. So this is just the regular enhancement for the image without the additional stuff for the face. To have that, click on this little paintbrush. Again, here's the slider control. You can adjust how much improvement. Click on the face first. This is going to enhance the face, brighten the eyes a little bit, and it kind of brings the face out more as you can see. And then the eye enlargement enlarges the eyes just a hair. It's almost not noticeable. It's very small, but it does real nice stuff. You can kind of see it in here. There's just a little bit, a little bit larger, just enough to open the eyes up a little bit. But real nice new features. We can see how fast this program runs. Now, for anybody that is working with a lot of faces, you're, you're taking a lot of selfies or a lot of vacation pictures or you're doing a lot of family pictures, or even if you're a professional photographer and you just want to do real fast facial enhancements, this is a great program for that. And of course, as we saw, this can be run as a plugin for Lightroom and Photoshop. You know, run this first and then do any additional tweaks you want to do with those more advanced programs. Once you're happy with the adjustment, just come down here to export click on disk and in here you can have your export options your location of course you can choose where you want to have this saved out to this is the initial file name you can rename that here if you want to just do that and rename it type in a new name several different formats jpeg tiff which is an uncompressed format png jpeg 2000 you'll even save right to the psd photoshop file format which is useful if you're going back into photoshop again and it will also save out as a PDF in Adobe Acrobat file format. So we have these different options in here. Some of these have quality settings. You can see here's our JPEG quality setting right there. Obviously, the higher the setting, the better quality and the larger the image size. And of course, vice versa in here, the lower the quality, the smaller the image size. The quality setting really depends upon your needs. If you're just doing this for an image up on the web, you can get away with a smaller file size and a little lower quality and no one's going to be noticing that. Now, there are more advanced options for saving out. Come down here to Advanced Settings. Brings up the Advanced Setting dialog box. You have some defaults in here, a WebJPEG or for email if you want to. You can, you can see right down here, Save Settings. If you make adjustments in here and you get these set up just the way you want them, you can save that as a user preset. It will show over here under the User Presets list. You just give that a name, it'll be over here. Again, you can choose where you want to save it to. You can choose to overwrite any existing file without warning you about it. I always do that unchecked. I normally don't overwrite any of my files. I always do them in a new or different directory just in case. You can change your name down here, prefix, base, suffix, and letters, and choose how you want to handle that. Let's say I wanted to come in here and do a counter on that. I can just do a counter, you know, file one, file two, file three kind of thing, or a timestamp several options, date, month, year, and so forth. I'll leave that at none. Here again is the format, and this includes, of course, all of those formats that we previously looked at right down there and the quality setting here for the JPEG. You also can choose different color profiles if you need to. The sRGB is the default, Adobe or Pro Photo RGB. And you can even resize your images down here. You can choose to not enlarge. Now, the reason it has a check mark for not enlarging is that you will frequently see a degradation or loss of quality if you enlarge images. This would help you prevent that. You can resize against the long edge, the short edge, or specific dimensions in here. There you go. Or you know, set your long edge or set your short edge. This is useful if you are saving an image out, for instance, for use on Instagram, where they have specific settings on how big it can be shown on Instagram. You can use this to set your image up to fill in the Instagram space as much as possible. If you're doing a horizontal image, then you want to set the long edge. If you're doing a vertical or portrait image, you want to set the short edge. 
to get as much out of Instagram as you can. So you have that resize option as well. And again, you can save your settings, click on that, give it a name, and save, and there's your saved preset. Once all this is done, click on continue. It goes ahead and does that work and then quickly saves out that image. That's actually very fast as you can see here on doing this. And as we saw before, up there with the open more, which I mentioned, you can use that to open up multiple images and have this do this step as a batch on a bunch of images. I'm going to reveal and explore. I won't bother with that. I'm done there. There we go. Let's take a look at that open more. I'm just going to grab just a few of these in here. Let's grab that one and I'll Grab this one and that one. There's three, maybe that one, four. Choose open. It brings all those in here using the same settings we had set up for the originals. These now all match the original in that setting. So it's kind of a batch process on our original image. Export, and we'll then export all five of those as a batch. Or if you want to start over, just go up here to the photo limer menu right here and click start over. Right back to our beginning here. This is where we were before. I showed you that first picture, and that's simply click on the open, and then find your first image. Let's find something different right here. I'll choose that one, choose open. It figures it out, and there we go. There's our image all set and improved. So there it is, a great little program. As you can see, very fast. It's limited, of course, on what it can do on its options, but I think they'll be adding in more options as they build this thing out further in later versions. But it's very, very fast and does a good job, does a real nice job of doing a fast enhancement of images. So if you're working with a lot of photographs, a lot of pictures, especially of people, and you want to have a program that just quickly enhances things for you so you can get these things up very fast up onto you know wherever, this is a great little program to do that with. And again, I have a link for this. You'll find that in the description. We can actually go to the website and see more about this Photo Lemur 3 program. And don't forget to hit that like button and, of course, share. Click on share down there and share with your friends through social media. Hit that subscribe if you haven't done so already. And take a look at my training courses and a link right down there at the top of the description. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com.